The Unfinished Swan I think had the potential to be a very deep and engaging experience. It just fell a little bit short. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. The game starts you off in complete whiteness. It doesn't explain what you should do. You kind of just need to figure it out for yourself. When you start the game off, you're a little boy inside of his mom's painting, throwing around these globs of black paint, which you use to see your way around. The king's new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. Around the second area of the game, the art style changes up and you are finally given shadows. I realize that sounds dumb, but it's very disorienting not having any sort of visual cues to help guide you. This is also when you get the blue globs of water, which you use not only to see your way around with, but they're also used to grow these wild patches of ivy which you can climb on. I'm a little disappointed with the water only because they could have done something with watercolors, but the art style never really changes and I think that would have been a fun way to introduce a new chapter in this game. Bursting with joy, the king locked himself in his workshop painting gifts for his queen. He never saw her lack of interest, though she made no effort to hide it. The only gift she kept was his first, a little silver paintbrush. This is another game that tackles a tough subject a little differently. The story revolves around the death of a loved one and the feeling of his loss. Hey. The story and scale of the world might seem larger than life at times, but it's really not. Each step I took, I got larger. The storyline is tough, yet very eloquent, and the world at times looks very complex, but when you sit down and tackle it, it really seems to flow nicely. I was able to sit down in one setting and really enjoy my time with this game. It's got a few moments of real cute charm. And then the credits appeared. Your dreams have credits? Oh yes, and subtitles. Unfinished Swan only took me about two hours to beat and does an honest attempt to try and make you play it again with the inclusion of toys, which you get from and use to collect balloons that are scattered throughout each level. The Unfinished Swan is cute but very short and that's why it gets a 7 out of 10. Something got in my mouth. Oh dear.